Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to demo the brand new Sleek Lens Sun-Kissed Skin Lightroom Workflow Collection all about those spring and summer photos. Let's go ahead and start with this one. This one is kind of a cooler image. Uh, it could be warmed up a lot more, make it more inviting. Uh, but overall, it's a great image. Got great composition, uh, great models here. It really works great. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually imply just kind of one click to really enhance this photo. And you can see over here on the left, we have a whole bunch of all-in-ones here. I'm actually gonna click the all-in-one sunburst. I'm gonna click that one right there. And what that's gonna do is apply this effect here. You can see it warms up the image, makes it look really, really great, sharpens the image as well. Uh, but one thing you might notice is this really, really bright area down here. Now with some of the all-in-ones, you're actually gonna get uh, kind of an added little bonus with when it comes with radial filters. You can actually move around this little sunburst effect to your image to kind of enhance it a little bit. So I'm gonna go over to my radial filter here and I'm gonna click on this little handle down here and I'm gonna drag this up. And you can see I can drag it anywhere I want to, but I'm gonna kind of put it in this top right corner here. And again, for me, it might be a little bit too, too bright, so I'm gonna back it down to right around there. Um, but what it kind of mimics is like the sun just kind of blowing out the sky. Uh, it really, really just adds a little bit of punch to the photo. So I'm gonna click done there. And this could actually be a finished photo. But what I'm gonna do is just for personal preference, I'm gonna warm it up just a hair. Uh, I can actually go down here and warm it up here, but I'm just gonna take the temperature and just warm it up a little bit right there. And now we have a nice warm image. Looks really great. So let's look before and after here. You can see the total difference. It, it actually changes the mood of the whole photo. So really great edit here. So now let's go to our other image here. This one is gonna be a real good one, a really, a really fun one so you can see the kind of drastic change you can apply to these images here. So uh, again, we're gonna play with our all-in-ones and kind of work our way down a little bit. Uh, so I have our all-in-ones here. I'm gonna click on the all-in-one harmony right here and it's just going to really apply a nice uh, overall warmth to the image uh, and really increase the contrast, increase the clarity. It's going to really make it stand out already. Uh, but there are a couple things that we want to change. I really want to warm up the image, which it already is, but I want to warm up only select parts of the image. So what I'm going to do is go down to our tone and tint down here and you can see we have tone and tint. We got a couple adjustments here and I'm going to choose warmer and watch what happens. It warms up the image, but it cools down parts of the image that don't need to be cooled down. So uh, whereas we had a whole global warmth that it was applied to the image before, now it's really just warming up kind of like the sand, the skin, uh, parts of the bathing suit there, really makes it look great. And now the last thing we're gonna do is kind of reduce the clarity a bit. If I were to uh, kind of look here on the skin here, uh, there's a lot of clarity, especially in the hair, it really stands out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just reduce the clarity a bit and that's going to make it more of a, a glow to the image. Some people hate it, some people love it. Uh, I actually don't like it as, as much as this was applied, but what I can do is just increase the clarity a little bit more, kind of fine tune it to my liking, and there we go. So this is kind of, this could be a, a, a finished edit right here. We could just be done, export this, and give it to whoever we uh, took the photo of, and they would love it. What we're going to do is play with a brush. So I'm going to go over to my brush here, and I'm going to choose Sun-Kissed Skin haze golden and what this is going to do is kind of allow for uh, it's kind of a sun a sun mimic effect and i'm just going to paint it in this top left corner just do this one quick stroke and there we go so i could actually keep it that way i can fine tune the brush if i wanted to i can increase the exposure a little bit uh, i can increase the warmth i can do all kinds of stuff but this would be the kind of photo that i wouldn't end up using and I think it looks really, really awesome. So here's the before and after of that one. Just a few clicks and we were able to really dial in this really awesome looking photo. So if you wanna learn more information about the Sun-Kissed Skin Lightroom presets, uh, link in the description down below or head over to sleeklens.com. Whole lot more information there, a lot more before and afters, and you can see all the cool stuff that you can do with these presets. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next one.